One of the arguments put by the, the in crowd, the, the, the Remainers, uh, is, oh, well, you know, it takes a long time for Europe to come up with a free trade agreement. It's taken nine years to come up with a free trade agreement with Canada. Well, there's a very good reason to leave. In the globalised 21st century, you don't need a trade deal to trade. And yet, they're still useful. The question is, are we more likely to have bigger and better trade deals inside the EU or outside? Let's add up the GDP of all the countries that have trade deals with the EU. It comes to five trillion pounds. Golly, that sounds a lot. But look at Switzerland, 29 trillion. And what about tiny Singapore? They've got trade deals worth seven times as much as the EU's. And South Korea, nine times. Chile, population eight million. It's got 50 trillion, unbelievable. But let's cheat. Let's add to the EU pile the value of its own internal market, as if it had a trade deal with itself. It's still rubbish. You can't throw a shipping container without hitting a country with better trade deals than the EU. In fact, if you're trying to avoid trade deals, joining the EU is probably the best thing you can do. The EU has got no trade agreement with China or India or Russia or the United States. I mean, it's staggering that they haven't managed to achieve that. Of Britain's top 10 non-EU trading partners, the EU has trade agreements in place with only two. As far as trade deals go, being part of the EU cuts you off from the rest of the world. Our history is a trading, buccaneering history, you know, back to Drake and beyond. And that's what we're good at. At the moment, our hands are shackled by being in the European Union. We've got a much, much better opportunity, really, for striking good trade deals if we're outside the EU than if we're inside. If we left the European Union, we could very quickly establish free trade deals with the most dynamic parts of the world economy. 